Greetings Programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to Elder Sign Omens. In our last episode, our group of investigators were able to banish the evil of Tasatha Goa, despite almost being overrun by a ton of formless spawn. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to our next old one, He Who Shall Not Be Named, The King in Yellow. Other world adventures have an extra doom penalty, so we need to be aware of that. We need 13 Elder Signs to go ahead and dispel him, and he needs 11 Doom Tracks to awaken. So let's get to it. Now it's time to pick the investigation team, and let's see what we get with the randomizer. Alright, interesting. We have Tony Morgan, Blood Money. Tony receives one extra trophy when he defeats a monster. That could be kind of cool. Mandy Thompson, Research. Once per day, Mandy may conjure two glyphs again before determining if she was able to complete a task. So during one of her one of her uh, rolls, she basically has a clue token for two of the glyphs. Next is Jim Culver, Strange Luck. Jim may focus or assist even after completing a task. So what that means is he can go ahead and hold on to something even if the task is successful. So he has he can basically hold whenever he wants to. And then we have Amanda Sharp, who I believe we had during the Yik campaign, who can complete any numbers of tasks on her turn. So that's an interesting group of uh, investigators. Let's head to the museum. Something terrible has begun to awaken within our museum. Something terrible always tries to awaken in your museum. Have you ever considered closing it down or setting it on fire? Rumor has it that the lost manuscript of The King in Yellow is hidden somewhere within the museum. You must find it before he who shall not be named's minions do. Beware, his control over the other worlds have caused them to be more treacherous than normal. Alright, so we're starting out. No glyph locks currently, but we do have a uh, midnight effect. Which is, you become that which you fear most. And we need to get three terrors in one roll. Ew. What's the... We get a sanity for losing. Well, might as well give it a shot. Ooh, lovely. The sickness and the fear have become so ingrained in me that I can no longer imagine a life without unending dread. At midnight, a monster appears. So... There's really no reason to use the yellow glyph, because uh, a terror isn't on the yellow die, but we're going to go ahead and use it so we have one to throw away. Alright, so we go ahead and let's go ahead and use our clues first and foremost. Keep the terror. Ah, goose egg. So we go ahead and destroy this. We'll lock the terror, and now we have these five greens to work with. Now well, there's another one, but we need two. Got it. Good stuff. We get an elder sign, a monster has shown up, and a clue, and a um, unique. With two trophies. Looks like the monster has a yellow die lock. Here's Mandy Thompson. Who do we have there? Hound of Tindalos. Within the strange mist, a horrid shape moved in the corner. Yellow glyph locked and advanced the clock. Well, let's, uh, let's give this a shot. Tempest in a teapot. I felt the air in this room turn foul and threatening. The evil did not want me here. If we lose, it'll be a doom token, a health, and a sanity. So let's try not to lose this. And in order to beat the hound, the clock is going to move one higher, which means that everyone's turn order will be changed. Now, the Hound of Tindalos was an interesting Lovecraftian um, creature, I thought, because, ooh, no lures. Let's go ahead and use her ability. We'll send these two in. Nada. And I guess we're going to go ahead and use our clue. And you see the clock just moved up by one. 
The Hound of Tindalos was this um, basic beast that traveled through the time time sphere, basically through time, through the timelines. If he saw you and he was aware that you had seen him, he would chase you across all of time and space to kill you. I mean, even if you saw him and he was like 10 million years in the past or whatever, he would you could know that he was on his way. And I think that would have been an awesome villain, uh, Doctor Who villain. Like maybe one of the companions had, bugger, one of the companions had seen a hound and the doctor was continually traveling to try and uh, keep her from harm while the hound was chasing them. I think that'd be kind of a cool storyline. Gonna delete the uh, yellow glyph and we are not getting what we need. Terror? Okay, here's a terror. So now we need to roll a peril to complete this. And we're not going to get it. Dang it. There's our doom token. However, it's not that bad because we did take care of the hound. So the yellow uh, die is back with us. We might as well go ahead and finish that one off. It does have an elder sign. And that is what we need. Let's use the red glyph. Alright, Jim. Ooh. Let's go ahead and turn the wild into a four, and we can take care of that in one shot. And you can see here, even despite we've completed the task, we can go ahead and hold. So we're going to hold on to this terror. Take care of that. And just to be safe, we'll spell lock the lore. And hope we get a peril out of these four. Uh, strike one. There we go. Elder sign, dynamite, and a clue. Not bad, but now it's going to be midnight, a little earlier than it, it was anticipated. So let's see what... Uh, Horrors he shall not be named has planned for us. Doom one for each investigator with one sanity. Oh, we're in good shape then. Aha! Let's see. Elder sign right there. Let's do blood on the floor. That's an easy one. I believe we did that during Yig, if I don't miss my guess. And nothing really that we need to deal with so far. So Amanda will use her ability. She'll clear this one. Actually, she'll clear that one. And she can clear this one. In one stroke. Elder Sign, Clue, and Cigarettes. Good stuff, Amanda. Oh, no. Tony. The curator's here, man. With that evil Walt Disney smile. But you do have quite a bit of gear. Let's see what we can do here. We'll use the 45 automatic. That seems right up Tony's alley. And the Ruby of Riley. Which seems, seems less so. Ooh. Yeah, we might as well use the clue. Let's put all these and re-roll just so we'll have that investigation if we need to clear that one so we don't lose die. Got it. There's the three lures. That's the biggest pain about Curator is that roll. And here's the lure and the investigation. Tony just shot Curator in the head. Elder Sign, clue, and a common item. Well, we are on our way, guys. We're doing pretty good so far. Yellow Dialog. All right, Mandy. Do you... Okay, you're completely out of gear. Lots of investigation and suffering of sanity loss. But we need to get that yellow die unlocked, so we'll give this a shot. Herald of the King. Kind of looks like uh, Pied Piper, who's a Flash villain. I knew that if we were to remove his mask, I would not recognize what lie beneath. Okay, roll number one. Got the three. 
Take some sanity loss. Next up. Another three. Getting a little bit crazier. That's okay. Now we need four. And we have the three. So we'll go ahead and use her ability and reroll these. Bam. Got it. A spell, a clue, and two trophies. Not bad, Mandy. Okay, no locks, no midnight. So far, so good. Let's see what you can do, Jim. You got some good gear. We'll rock out Terrible Discovery for two clues and an Elder Sign. I think we did this one, too. We'll use the Dynamite to conjure the Red Glyph. And put in the lures and hold the investigation. Now all we need is a terror. Yeah, yeah, might as well. Use a clue here. Oh, there's the wild. That'll do it. Turn that into our terror. And two clues and an elder sign. If we're getting enough trophies, we might be able we might actually be able to uh, buy it from the entrance. It's about to be midnight. And it looks like we have a green dice lock. Doom plus one. That's not too bad. That could have been a lot worse. And we'll send Amanda in here. Did you hear that? I was so focused on the strange sound that at some point I had unconsciously closed my eyes. Well, that'll kill you if you're dealing with weeping angels. Let's use a cigarette case. Get the yellow glyph. And we need perils. Two more perils, please. That would be most welcome. Use the clue. Nada. And not again. Oh, you're about to be that guy, aren't you, game? For a sanity loss. Yep, you're gonna be that guy. That guy! It's alright, Amanda. You have that, um, sanity. Plus one sanity, uh, item. Let's see if Tony can do any better. Use the knife. There's the first peril. There's the second. Let's be the use the clue just to be safe. You're killing me, Smalls. Ah. Oh. There we go. Woo! It's making me sweat there. Tony can't really afford to take much sanity loss. Monster has shown up, but we do have a monster killer spell and a clue. Looks like, ooh, so we have a yellow glyph lock monster and a midnight effect. What time is it? We have two turns before the midnight effect. Six and two lures. And who is this? A ghost. The room grew cold suddenly, and I knew that another presence was there with me. Yellow glyph locked. Uh, ooh, that's kind of nasty. You know what? Let's go ahead and try for transported by magic first. I'm gonna have to have Tony or someone be able to, uh... Wait, what's the failure? A sanity and a doom token. That's eh, risky. But she has her... Okay, she has her ability as well. So, we're gonna go for broke here. We'll go ahead and try here. Actually, no. We'll try this one and this one. Reroll. There's our two lures. Excellent. We'll spell lock one of the three investigations. So all we need is three more. Yeah. Use a clue. There we go. 
Two spells, ooh, including the Vorish sign. Awesome. And a portal. Good job. In the Hall of the Dead. And the Abyss. We've been in the Abyss, I remember that. Let's see what good you can do, Jim. He has two tokens. Eh. Not looking for... Not seeing a whole lot of Elder Signs. I guess we could try that one, but we don't have any of the yellow or red glyph items. Let's go ahead and try this one. Let's go Monst... Well, wait a minute. Whose turn is next? That's going to be Amanda's. And Amanda doesn't have much... Hmm. You know what? I'm going to be conservative with Jim. We're going to go into the Hall of the Dead. Get some items for him. I hate this room. I need no reminder of my mortality. I know my death is imminent. Well, if you keep that attitude, it will be. Options, options. Oh, wow. We have all... We have everything. If only Amanda had been here. This one looks the nastiest, so we'll take care of the perils. And... We'll hold on to the lore. We can get investigation. It's easier to get investigation than any of the others, I find. There we go. And we'll use our clue tokens. For the Mighty Five. A clue, a unique, and a common. Had to be really careful, and I will tell you the truth, guys. Nothing is more irritating in this game than completing an adventure and then having midnight hit, but the adventure that replaced the one that you cleared has a midnight effect. I probably worded that completely wrong. Let me try that again. One sec. All investigators lose one sanity, and sane investigators become lunatics. Oh, that was really close. Woo! Alright, let's go ahead and use the whiskey. When uh, you complete an adventure, obviously another one pops up. But nothing is more annoying than completing an adventure, having it hit midnight, and the adventure that shows up has a midnight effect because that will hit. I have had games where everything has been going wonderfully until that happens. And then it throws a monkey wrench, a tentacled monkey wrench into all of your plans. Uh... Well... You know... No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that be Tony's, uh... Tony's privilege. Missing records... Eight. Eh, we'll do the loading dock. We'll get Amanda a common item. Every corner was filled with wooden crates of every conceivable size. Quietly, I pried the first one open. Need a... Good. I think... Oh, we got it! And we got food. And a... Trophy. I'll take it. Now, I know you've been waiting for this, Tony, so let's go ahead and do deal with it. The storage closet. I was told the key had been lost, but now the door swung open. Let's take care of this, first and foremost. Use Bind Monster on the Ghost. That's right, we were rocking a proton pack. Hmm. Yeah, let's... We need two lures out of these four. And of course we have none. Let's try that again, with feeling. Spell that glyph, hold on. The game is not being nice to me today. Nope! No, it is not. A Doom token's added to the track, and a Sanity. So Tony is in bad shape.
Actually, I know what you're doing, Mandy. You are spending some, uh, uh, trophies and getting your sanity back up to five. Take a rest. You deserve it. Jim. Oh, a monster showed up in the abyss. Actually, that made the abyss easier. A maniac. Smiling, he showed me where he had carved glyphs on his chest with a knife. I know where we're going. Feels like we've been here before. Let's use the Sword of Glory. Use before conjuring to add the yellow and red. And we will turn this into a lore and take care of this one first. Now we just need apparel. I said we just need apparel. There you go. Okay, Red Glyph, a Sanity Raising Spell, and two Elder Signs. Huzzah. Now Midnight's about to hit, we better hope we do not lose any sanity, or else Tony is about to die. <laughs> a riot appears. Alright. Where's the riot? Ooh. Two perils and it causes a... health. The crowd had a mind of its own, and each body was an unrelenting extension of its madness. Hmm. A riot is an ugly thing. Props if you can guess the movie that quote's from. It's one of the greatest. Hmm. Something with a, something with a lore. Yeah. Let's go for Mysterious Tome. I think I've read this before. As I read the text aloud, it was as if the words were a tangible force, reshaping the air before me into a swirling vortex of luminescent mist. Yay, yay, yay. Let's... We got nothing. We're gonna have to sacrifice these. And hope we at least get one lore, because we have a unique item that'll turn it into a, into a lore. Excellent. We're not gonna take any... Well... You know what? Let's discard and lock onto it. And. Okay. Just wanted to be sure. If we got that for free, I wasn't going to say no. And another portal, a clue, and a spell lock. Riot in the streets. There's riots everywhere. And Tony Morgan's time. And you are taking a breather. And he's back to full up. Now, Mandy, 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 where are we going to send you? Another dimension, definitely. You'll swim with the uh, extraterrestrial uh, jellyfish. Now we just need a lore and one investigation. We'll use her ability before we use a clue. Nope. We're gonna lock that one. There we go. Didn't have to use an item or anything. And an elder sign, a spell lock, and a yellow glyph. Good job, Mandy. We're doing good so far, guys. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh. There's the riot. Need more elder signs. Anything else? Anything here giving up elder signs? Ooh, Terror Doom plus one. But we get two elder signs out of it. We have the Medusa exhibit. Hmm. And riot in the streets. You know, I have that health, or that sanity razor. I'm going to do the Medusa exhibit. And we're going to summon some glyphs here from Nameless Cults and the Axe. Terror effect. What's the, what's the terror effect in here? Discard all terror glyphs. 
not going to be an issue. Let's go ahead and hold on to that lure. Now, we'll use the spell, pump ourselves back up to six. And there's our seven right there. Good job, Jim. Handle that like a champion. Another monster entered the board though, but and with a red Oh no. Oh, I spoke too soon. I jinxed myself. I know I did. It's okay. This is self-inflicted. Oh, Doom plus two. And minus one sanity to team. From the midnight effect. Huh. Well, well, well. And terrors. Terrors for days. Think we can do it? And who are you? High Priest. He looked at me like I was an annoying fly that was he was finally going to crush. Ooh, he's got an eye in his chest. Hmm. I think I'm going to leave that to Tony. Tony's good at that. We need to get rid of this midnight effect first and foremost. Falling asleep is very bad. As the hours wore on, the exhaustion took its toll, but I knew that in dreams the creatures could creep into my mind. I guess that's what they did. First terror. And let's do a reroll. Here's another terror. We will try a clue. No dice. Lock that. There we go. Elder sign, clue, and spell lock. We just need three more. I'd normally be ending the video now, but we're so close. I think we may just go ahead and, you know, go all the way with this. What do you guys think? Tony, you have no items. But losing will only uh, give you a health. So we're going to go in here and at least take care of this monster so we get the red glyph. At least try to. Unbelievable. The fact that someone had tried to hide this ledger proves that this horde collection of cursed relics was gathered in full knowledge of their terrible significance. Yeah, have you met the curator? There we go. Got those two. Now you can see here, unless I roll perfectly, this is not happening. Yep. We failed. It's okay though. For a mighty one health, which he has seven, so he can afford it. Now we're back using the red glyph. Which is excellent. Vermin in the pits. The missing records, which we were just at. Forgotten knowledge. Riot in the streets. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Mandy can deal with that. That's a zombie infestation, that's not a riot. Fueled by a rage they could not explain, people charged through the streets, setting, setting fires and shattering windows. Just a typical day in Arkham, Massachusetts. Let's roll first. Get that. Do we want to spell lock anything? No, not yet. But I think it doesn't matter, because we got it. Red Glyph, Yellow Glyph, Elder Sign, two trophies. Now I think we actually can buy... Let's look at our trophy count. Because we may be able to cheese this off by buying Elder Signs from the store. Let's see, how many do you have? Okay, you have nine, seven, eight, and eight. Not yet. And hopefully it'll... Uh, the game will be over by the time this is needed. Secret gathering, a monster will show up. But an elder sign and another world adventure makes it worth the risk. Energy crackled along the walls and illuminated their faces, many of which were horrifyingly familiar. Don't know who to trust in the world of Lovecraft. We'll roll. Oh, that is a lot of terrors. Let's try a uh, clue and pretend that never happened. 
there's our lures. And we'll hold on to this three. Three roll. Perfect. Outstanding work, Jim. We just need one more Elder Sign, guys. Just one more. And a Midnight Effect. And Riley just opened. Wonderful. Alright, everyone. Time to clench. Doom plus one and a monster. Oh, four monsters are on the track now. And Doom plus two. From Horrible Visions. That's no bueno. That is no bueno at all. Oh, goodness. Horrible Visions. Oh, we get an Elder Sign for finishing that. We may not have to worry about it, guys. Come on, Amanda. Time to be a hero. Here's one and two. Is there anything we need to spell lock? Not really. We need a peril and a terror to end this. Got it. That'll do it. 13 to 8. Time for he who shall not be named to go to a place that shall not be named. And the world is saved. Far out. Now, you can't, I, you don't say his name, but you can type it. So, I believe that's how it's spelt. Yeah, we'll go with that. Let's look at the breakdown. 23 investigator turns, 34 items gained, 46 tasks completed, 18 adventures completed, 4 monsters killed, 3 other worlds opened, 13 elder signs, only 3 empty doom slots, so we cut that a bit close near the end. An ancient one sealed away, and no incapacitated investigators. Good stuff. Alright, let's uh... Get back to the main menu. And who's next up? Azathoth, the outer god and center of the universe. Difficulty of hard, and look how many elder signs we have to get, guys. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We'll be taking on this monumental task next time. If you liked the video, go ahead and click like down below, subscribe to the channel, or leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll catch you next time. Later days, everyone.